guess what time it is? Yes, it's squirrel hunting time. So my husband bagged two squirrels yesterday and today I'm going to be making some squirrel stew. And I thought you'd want to see how easy it is to make it in case you hunt squirrels or somebody in your family does. You know what? It is a great skill to learn hunting. But when I talk about squirrels and eating squirrels now, I always think of Daryl on The Walking Dead. And for those of you that saw the show, you'll know what I mean. But squirrel is a sweeter meat. Um, actually, it's kind of amazing for the amount of meat on a little animal, or a little rodent, as many people call them. But it's something that is very prolific where I live. We live in the woods, and there are a lot of squirrels. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick, well, it's quick to prepare, but it is a slow cooker recipe. And it takes about six hours on high for your slow cooker. And you want to cook it that long because you want that meat tender. And I'd say fall off the bone, but you'll see about three quarters of the way through, I actually remove the squirrel and actually take all the meat off the bone and then put it back in the stew so there aren't any bones. And you have to be careful because squirrel have a lot of little bones, especially near their ribs. So enough talking, let's get started. I have four eh, smaller potatoes halved and put on the bottom kind of as a base. And then here I have two large carrots, a large onion, and some garlic. And we just put that all over there. And we put in our squirrel. There we go. One. Here's the other one. They look pretty meaty. Now my cheat is I am using crockery gourmet the beef mix for my gravy. But I'm adding uh, Maybe a couple tablespoons of tomato paste to it. I just find that gives it a much richer flavor. So I've stirred in the tomato paste. And now we're just putting this all over top. Okay, we got kind of a bigger glop there, but you know what? That'll all be fine as it cooks. Oops, and there's a hair. Any fur in here. Now we're going to put the top on. Now we're going to turn it on and we are going to select manual and high. And it's going to cook for at least six hours. It's been five hours in the crock pot. I've now taken off the squirrel and I'm going to separate all the meat from it. Well, here's the bones. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of meat on just two squirrels. Now the bones I put back outside on the edge of our yard and possums, coyotes, whatever, can enjoy what's left that I didn't get out. But the easiest way to pick this meat is let it cool off a bit and do it with your fingers. You gotta be careful because squirrel has a lot of little bones by the rib cage. So I got the top off and now we're gonna pop this meat back in. And we're gonna cook it another hour or so. Just make sure it absorbs all this good juices and gravy. And of course, by taking the top off, it takes time again to get back up to the high heat. Well, high for a slow cooker. So I'll be back when I'm done. But it, let me tell you, it's smelling mighty good. It's been six hours. It smells good. Let's check it here. Some boiling. Get you over a little more. Doesn't that look good? 
Let's dish it up. Look at that rich gravy. We got potatoes and we got onions and carrots and some yummy sweet squirrels. So let's see how my husband likes it. So is it tender? Tender and very rich. Mm -hmm. It's very good. So which one do you like better? This recipe or the other squirrel recipe I make? They're both good. I guess I like the other because I have a little tomato t uh, flavor in this one. So there you have it. It was pretty darn easy. The hard part, I guess, is getting the squirrels, right? But it does make a good stew. It's very filling for the family. And if you hunt squirrels, I hope you try this recipe. Our favorite recipe is this one. And I have a link to that if you'd like. Again, pressure cooking is a great way to cook squirrel because the high heat Make sure that you have tender meat. Well, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this little game cooking video. Bye.